Today we're talking about something that nobody in the industry is really talking about. We're diving into the world of finance within live music, photography and videography. We're talking earnings and how to make your passion pay off. It's all well and good having a passion for creating and live music, but if you want to make it your career, you have to treat it like a business because at the core of it, that's what it is. Before we get started with any of this, I do have to say I am not a financial advisor. The information I relate in this video should not be taken as gospel. Any figures I mention in this video differ from person to person, so please keep that in mind. We will be talking about average income, how to figure out and structure what to charge, and different ways of making an income as a creator. When it comes to pricing your services, there is no one-size-fits-all answer. Your earnings will be influenced by a range of factors, and experience is one of these. Clearly, being a more experienced and trusted creator means that you can charge a bit more for your services. It's the same in any field, really, with more experience comes more financial gain. Another factor is the size and budget of the event itself. You might want to charge a thousand pounds to shoot a show, but with the overheads of the artist and the show itself, that's just not going to happen. So this can change a little bit with the size of the show. Obviously, if a band is playing your local underground club, they're not going to be earning a crazy amount of money, so neither are you. But on the flip side, if they're playing arenas, you're going to be able to factor in a bit more into the budget. Next is deliverables. How much of what are you expected to turn over after the event. This factors in planning, equipment and software costs, setup and shooting times, editing, etc. If it's just a short video or a few photos that you're supplying after the show, then you're not exactly going to be able to price yourself in the same margins as, say, somebody who is delivering a full edit, 10 to 20 short form pieces of content for socials, a multicam music video cut, and 200 photos a night. So with that in mind, create different levels for different deliverables. Another factor to keep in mind is if it is a one-off show or a tour. Personally, I charge a higher day rate for a one-off show than I do a tour. This is because with a tour, you're guaranteed work over several days or even weeks, whereas with a one-off, it's exactly that. It is just a one-off show. Usually with a one-off, you'll be organizing your own travel and accommodation, so the time spent out because of this is also reflected in the price. Well, that's the different factors that can affect your charging out of the way. So let's talk a little bit about numbers and structure. On average, a new starter is probably going to be earning earning around about 10 to 12,000 pounds a year. Obviously this is before tax and expenses. It also depends about how much work they're able to get in and if they are just ridiculously talented and get picked up by a bigger band straight off the bat. And I have seen this happen. For somebody who's around about the two to three year mark, you're probably looking between 15 to 20,000 pounds a year. Again, this is dependent on how much work you actually have coming in. About four to five years, you're probably looking between, I don't know, 25 to 30,000 pounds a year, and then onwards and upwards after that. These aren't set numbers. They can obviously be a lot less and a lot higher, but these are kind of the average that I tend to see. There are ways of increasing these numbers a little bit faster as well by doing things like marketing and networking and just putting the time in to get more work. Also, there's a lot to be said about standing out from the crowd. There's a lot of people getting into this space right now, so setting yourself apart from the crowd is something very important. But how do you structure your prices? Well, a good place to start is by factoring in all of your expenses for the year. How much would it cost you personally to even create the work? We start with that as our base level. Then you want to add in how much you would like to earn that year for you to live comfortably. Be honest with yourself here though. If you're a year in, barely networking, not getting much work in, and just doing shows at your local bar, you're not exactly going to be putting in 30,000 pounds a year. Be realistic and put down a figure that is feasible. Then divide that number by 12 to work out exactly how much you would need to earn each month to get to that top figure. Once you have that figure, you kind of have to guesstimate how much work you would be able to bring in during that month, and then you can price your services accordingly to that. Just as a side note, this is going to be a lot more difficult for a new starter, as you're not going to know exactly how much work you're going to be getting in. But as an example, if you're wanting to earn £10,000 a year, it'll be £833 a month. So let's say you get five jobs in a month, which is doable, you would charge £166 per job. With more experience, you'll be more booked up in advance and you'll have a better grasp on understanding exactly how much work you will be able to get in over the month. 
Shooting shows is not the only way to earn money in this industry. And it's certainly not the only way I earn money. If you're a photographer, you can offer promo shoots, merch shoots, sell prints, and even sell your own presets online as digital downloads and create a bit of a passive income for yourself. If you work with video, then you can offer behind the scenes content in studio, on set out other music videos. You can offer music videos yourself. You can create looks in the same way that a photographer can create presets and sell them online and if push comes to shove you're a photographer or you're a videographer that doesn't have to directly translate to music you can reach out to local businesses and offer them your services to create social media content for them in the beginning for me when I wasn't getting so many shows I would do exactly this finance in this industry is a very touchy and tricky subject to talk about but with consistency commitment networking and a little bit of savviness you can definitely carve out the life that you want this video has been absolutely packed with value so i'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video and maybe subscribe for more content like this and let me know in the comments what your experiences are with pricing yourself whether it's good or bad let me know i want to have a chat with you guys peace